guys, Dr. Jamesy here. In honor of National Doctors Day, I just wanted to share an experience that I had during the pandemic that has been challenging for everyone. But just at the start of the pandemic, when things were very uncertain and things were kind of just beginning to shut down, I remember I was on call as a dermatology resident, going into a grocery store to just do some basic grocery shopping. I was exhausted and I was one of the only people at the time wearing a mask and walking in, I just remember a lot of the very incriminating judgmental stares that I got from people, which made me feel very isolated, made me feel incriminated in a sense, and just overall very negative going in, walking around one of the employees, randomly just put a bouquet of flowers in my shopping cart and said that those were for you and free of charge, which really was just very moving. Um, and I think, you know, throughout this very challenging pandemic um, where people have suffered so much, what really inspired me were the random acts of kindness of strangers in support of so many things, whether it be the medical community, whether it be communities of color who have suffered great loss in trauma, or just for the community in general, because everyone has suffered during this pandemic. Random acts of kindness and self-sacrifice have really inspired me. What inspired me the most this past year would have to be my grandpa. He is their caretaker, for both my grandma and her brother who have Alzheimer's and dementia. And they um, now require near full-time care with like meal prep and diaper changes and ambulation, near 100% care. And over the past year with COVID, that's caused its own certain type of social isolation um, and several um, obstacles for my grandpa to overcome nearly alone. And despite the fact that my grandpa provides 100% of their care, he still always makes sure that my grandma has flowers. And I think for me, it shows me that taking care of someone is not just their medicine or their schedules or food or diaper changes, but making sure that they have what they love as a part of every day. My name is Amanda Lee and I'm a third year general surgery resident. I think we can all agree that this last year has been pretty difficult through this pandemic, and I want to give a quick shout out to the people who have motivated me the most. I want to say thank you to my co-residents, as well as the residents across the nation, for trudging through this time. I don't think a single one of us realized we'd ever be going through a pandemic during our training. But I think that when we get through this together, and at the end of the day, we're going to make better physicians for our patients. So I want to say happy Doctor's Day, and thank you to everyone who's inspired me. Hi, everybody. My name is Dr. Flora Sinha. I am a board-certified internal medicine physician practicing in Southern California. Happy, happy Doctor's Day to everybody, to each and every one of those physicians who continue to endure and inspire and motivate and empathize and just be the epitome of caretakers to their patients and to their colleagues. The people that I think have really kept me going in the last year, uh, given all of the hardships, are our children. The adaptability, the resilience, um, the optimism that I saw in our kids was simply grounding and it really kept me going this year. So along with so many other people and things, I think our kids inspired me the most. Hi everyone, my name is Dr. Ruhi Jelani and I'm a reproductive endocrinology and infertility specialist at Thios in Chicago. Um, thank you, Metalita, for initiating this campaign and talking about what truly inspired me to be the doctor and the person I am. So number one, most importantly, it's my mom. She's not a physician, but she truly showed me that once you dream and you want to achieve, you can achieve anything that you want. She showed me that once you have that passion in you, that all you need is that drive and any goal, any dream is attainable. And she truly continues to show me that daily. And number two is Dr. Rina Jabomoni, who was one of the first female reproductive endocrinology and infertility specialists in the late 70s. Being a minority female, in the late 70s, she truly conquered all and she practiced all the way until the late 2000s until I was fortunate enough to practice with her for a couple years before she transitioned out. Those two people continue to inspire me daily to not only be a better doctor, but to be a better person. Um, thanks again, Metalita, for honoring us on this Doctor's Day. 
Hey there, it's Dr. Charles Chambers, also known as the Period Doctor, and happy Doctor's Day. This Doctor's Day, I am most inspired by my incredible patients. Um, as you guys may know, I'm an OBGYN, uh, but I'm a pediatric and adolescent gynecologist, so most of my patients are teens and tweens and middle school and high school, and that age is already hard enough, but it is more challenging to navigate changing bodies and tr finding your true purpose and who you are uh, during a pandemic. So their resilience and their optimism, their ability to still express themselves and their passions during this time has motivated me and really keeps me um, excited to do the work that I do. So happy Doctor's Day to all of the doctors out there and a special thank you to our patients who make this job well worth it. Hey everyone, I'm Amanda Shi. I'm an anesthesiologist and intensivist. And for this Doctor's Day, I wanted to share my experience as an ICU fellow last year in the peak of the COVID pandemic as something that inspires me to this day one year later. So last year, I was a fellow here in Boston. I was an ICU fellow and during the peak of COVID, I felt like the experience of caring for critically ill patients with my fellow healthcare workers from all walks of life continues to be an inspiration to me to this day. The selflessness of the team from my colleagues, uh, other residents, other fellows, the nurses I worked with, the respiratory therapists, the uh, patient care advocates, the assistants, our admin team, our environmental services team, that were everyone was there ready to help out, ready to pitch in and face this frightening unknown with resilience, strength, and incredible bravery. I also wanted to mention and note that I draw inspiration as well from our patients and their caregivers and the incredible love, support, and gratitude that was demonstrated throughout the pandemic uh, last year and to today. So for this Doctor's Day, I am inspired by this experience and thank everyone for everything they've done over the course of this really challenging year. Hello everyone, happy Doctor's Day. I'm Dr. Brian Basiri, or Dr. BBT. I'm a plastic surgery resident at the University of Illinois at Chicago. This year has been rough for everyone and we all have our own way of pushing forward and staying motivated. For me, my older brother, Mike, continues to inspire me every day. He's my only brother and has helped me through the toughest times of my life and he's been there every step of the way. As a head and neck surgeon, my brother goes to the hospital to see patients and do emergency surgeries in the midst of a pandemic putting himself at risk for his community. His sheer dedication to his patients is something I truly admire. His enthusiasm drives me every day to do everything I possibly can for my patients so that I can be like Mike. The bonus is, even though that he is older than me, everyone thinks we're twins. If you don't believe me, you should check out his page on Instagram at Dr. MBT and see for yourself. Let me know what you think. Happy Doctor's Day. I think it's fitting that I am currently on an overnight shift when I talk about what I am grateful on this doctor's day and um, what has really touched me during this pandemic. And for me, it is unequivocally um, my parents. They are both greater than 70. Um, and as many of you know, um, I'm an ICU doctor for children. Um, and after maternity leave, I had to go back on the front lines. Um, and even though, you know, obviously I'm a high risk person to be around, my parents stepped up um, despite me telling them not to and um, took care of my baby girl throughout this pandemic. Um, and so did my husband's parents. So really the grandparents for me are the heroes of this pandemic. I could not have done um, what I did. I could not be a doctor. I could not be a researcher. And I definitely could not be a mother um, without their support. So they inspire me every single day to be 
literally the best doctor that I could possibly be um, to honor the great sacrifices that they made um, during this difficult time. This doctor's day I'm inspired to do more because of my family. My wife, Lauren, works in the intensive care unit, chose to go back to work to give back to our community here in Central Florida several months after giving birth to our newborn son, who was born at the very start of this pandemic. And my son, Sanjay, doesn't know a world without social distancing, masks, and temperature checks. And I know that he's going to enjoy that, but we need to keep working harder. This Doctor's Day, I'm inspired to do more because of that. One person who really inspires me is an amazing female physician named Dr. Aline Gagoshin. She and I first met in the MPH program at USC, but lost touch over the years. I recently stumbled upon her Instagram account, which is a change of heart blog, and learned that in the last few years, she underwent an urgent heart transplant due to sudden cardiac failure, had to find a different residency program to complete the last few months of her residency because her program closed, and then went on to become a critical care fellow, which means that she's been working in the ICU during the COVID-19 pandemic. Seeing how she has handled every curveball that life has thrown at her and how she uses her platform to advocate for patients, science, and organ donation has been truly inspiring. This year, Doctor's Day is a little bit more special because this past year has been really challenging for everybody. Uh, I just want to share and say thank you to everybody who is part of the medical community and the team that I work with every single day. Um, from the nursing staff, to the aides, to the housekeepers, um, to the therapists, to everybody. Um, it's you who inspire me to keep working every single day to care for patients. So uh, it's you guys that inspire me and I just wanna say thank you. I couldn't do what I do every day without you guys. It's really you guys who are on the front lines and thank you. Hi, I'm Dr. Rania Habib, a board certified oral and maxillofacial surgeon who subspecialized in pediatric cleft and craniofacial surgery. This doctor's day, I want to honor all of my fellow physicians who are on the front line during the pandemic. Thank you for putting your life on the line to ensure that the public was safe, that we as your fellow physicians were safe. It means the world to us and we will never forget the selfless acts that you performed in order to ensure our safety. I am proud of everything that you did. Happy Doctor's Day. Hello, I'm Dr. Robert Drummond, also known as Dr. Dr. D. And I have to say, one of the things that have inspired me the most over the last year have been the many messages that I've received from individuals across the country telling me that my information or my videos have helped give them better understanding into SARS-CoV-2, COVID-19, and the vaccines. One of my mentors told me years ago that being a physician scientist would allow me to affect hundreds of thousands of lives. At the time, I thought it would be through research, but it turns out that having that background in cellular molecular medicine has given me insight into virology and immunology that has helped me bring these videos to you. So just know that if you've sent me messages telling me that my videos have helped you out and helped you make a good decision, just know that you inspire me to keep going. So thank you so much. My name is Dr. Renee Rodriguez. I go by Dr. Renee Parr on Instagram. And the people who have inspired me the most this year on Doctor's Day is my team at work. My medical assistant, Celia, my echo technician, Kayatri. We didn't directly work in the hospital setting, one-on-one -on -one with COVID patients, but we've worked the entire time through the pandemic, through all of it, seeing patients in clinic, scanning them as my echo tech does. And there has never been a time where the two of them weren't here with me working to take care of people throughout the highs and the lows. And I would not have been able to make it through this pandemic without them. My team is everything and that's healthcare in general. And so this year and every year, but this year in particular, super grateful for them. So my name is Dr. Amber Hardiman, and I'm currently a physician in internal medicine pediatrics. What drives me in medicine really is my family and my community. So my aunt is a family practice physician, and I've seen her in her clinics and hospitals my entire time growing up. She's always pushed me to be the best I can be and to help people do what's right no matter what. Um, so as I've transformed into a physician, I carry on those same values of honesty, treating people the way I want to be felt, 
it's so incredibly heartwarming to see, um, especially little African American, Hispanic children, see me as their physician and clap, get really excited because you can't be what you can't see. So I just love to be in my own community, helping us out here as far as um, healthcare disparities are concerned. And I can't wait to continue and see what my future holds. Hi everyone, my name is Edward Daniele. I'm currently a plastic surgery fellow at the University of Illinois at Chicago. The person who continues to inspire me in this doctor's day is my mom. She raised myself and my two younger brothers and sacrificed everything to ensure we had a proper education and always worked hard. She passed away 73 years ago, but I always consider her my guardian angel. The people who inspire me the most on this doctor's day are my patients. There's nothing more rewarding and gratifying than to work with a patient for them to open up to me and trust me enough to discuss their struggles and things that they normally wouldn't tell anybody and for us to partner together and for them to put in the work and for me to see their progress over time. I mean, that's the reason that I went into this field in the first place. There's times when I'm burned out, but when I see my patients improving and being a part of that and playing a role in that, that's what inspires me to keep going on this path in my career as a physician. Hi, I'm Dr. Stephanie and I'm a family physician. And what inspires me to continue medicine, particularly in this year, are my patients who are underserved and underrepresented. Um, social inequity has been on a spotlight this year and I've been seeing it every day in the hospital and in my clinic. And Despite this, most of these patients are the happiest and hardest working I've ever known. So they really continue to inspire me to keep doing what I'm doing and really to motivate other people like me. As a Latinx woman, I feel like my job is not only to protect these patients, but to inspire people from underrepresented backgrounds to come into medicine um, because we need them. Mm -hmm.